Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. We're up at the retreat location and this weekend we're going to set up a Delta Loop antenna with the ICOM IC7200 HF radio with the AH4 antenna tuner made by ICOM. We got everything packed up here on the ATV so we're going to run to the top of the hill to the neighbor's house where he has some more room and set up this US Army surplus GRA4 antenna. This is an old antenna but it gives us a 40 foot mast with a halyard so we can pull this antenna up and we'll try to make a new antenna today with the antenna tuner. Alright guys, we're at our undisclosed location in the mountains of West Virginia and we completed our partial installation of the GRA4 US military surplus antenna. So we got about 40 feet of mast section there. We got a rope hanging there in the breeze. That's going to be our halyard for pulling up our delta loop. We left a few sections out of the gray four, so we still have materials left over. But this is enough mass for the purposes of this video. And I don't know if you've ever seen a gray four before, but the military used these a lot in the 80s and the early 90s. I guess the 70s too. One of the nice features with this antenna is the base plate insulator down here. And we'll demonstrate this tomorrow. You can actually use the mass itself as a vertical antenna. So it has a little post there to connect your wire to and the AH4 ICOM antenna tuner will work perfectly with that. The gray four uses four ground stakes so we have one there north, south, east and west and then you have these little clamps at the end of the rope for trimming out the antenna to get the bow out. So in a full blown configuration you would use three ropes but for the purposes of getting the video done we only went with two. So we're going to pause here. I'm going to get the radio set up and set up the Delta Loop antenna and show you what the ICOM AH4 antenna tuner can do. All right, guys, we got everything set up here. The ICOM IC7200 HF radio is powered up. We got two sealed lead acid batteries. One of them is equipped with hardened power systems bat pack there so we can monitor our voltage. And what we set up here is a Delta Loop antenna. We're using the AH4 automatic antenna tuner by ICOM. It's sitting there on the ground. And what that is, is a multi-strand antenna wire. It's coming out horizontally, about 25 feet, to this ground post over here. We used a little bit of painter's tape because we couldn't find the duct tape. Improvise. The wire then runs up to the top of the mast, about 40 feet up. Comes right back down the other side of the mast to the other guy's stake. A little more painter's tape. And then comes out horizontally and connects to the back side of this antenna tuner. So what we have is a single wire that comes off the antenna post, makes a perfect triangle, and comes back and connects to the ground post. Now instinctively you might say, hey, that's a short. And for DC it is a short. But the advantage of a delta loop antenna in this configuration is if you have to operate in a high noise environment, where you have a lot of industrial sound or noise or motors, pumps, and generators, this will help mitigate that noise and allow you to operate a little more easier. So we're going to go ahead and show you how this antenna tunes up. The AH4 automatic antenna tuner has not had any problems tuning. We jumped around on different bands. So we'll go ahead and set up here and show you how that works. Okay, ready? All right, guys, so I'm next to the tuner. My buddy's going to hit the tune button. You should hear the relays energize in here. So if you heard those relays energize, that was the tuner finding an antenna solution for frequency 3818 lower side band in the 80 meter band. So now I'll go over to the radio and actually show you where we're pushing the button and show you that the SWR drops to one to one. We get a perfect match with this Delta Loop antenna. All right, guys, so we're still on 3818 on the 80 meter band. So we're going to go ahead and change frequency to the 40 meter band and show you that this thing can find a tuning solution in the Delta Loop configuration. So we'll do 72250, get into the 40 meter band. So we'll go ahead and tune here. We're going to set the meter to SWR, standing wave ratio. And we tuned up. We have a tuning solution. We'll see if we get a chance to get in here. Okay, very good, Tim. I got you here, no problem. 
Blackberry in Ohio, QFL. Well, good evening, Barry. This is Hank down in West Virginia, Hotel Alpha November Kilo, and we're operating portable on the mountains here in West Virginia. Okay, very good. You said the name is Hank? QSL, Hotel Alpha November Kilo, Hank. Oh, Hank. Okay, very good, Hank. You got any idea what county you're in there today? Hampshire County, West Virginia. Hampshire County. Again, the county? Hampshire County. QSL? All right, very good. Hampshire County. Oh, well, I'm by nature a county hunter, and I'm all interested. Thank you. Good luck to you. All right, guys, so we just wrapped up a QSO from the mountains of West Virginia to Ohio, running 25 watts with the ICOM IC7200HF radio with the AH4 automatic antenna tuner you see there. We're going to leave the mast up tonight and come back tomorrow and hook that tuner up to the mast whip adapter at the bottom there and try vertical operations with the ICOM radio here using this 40-plus-year-old surplus military antenna. We've got bones hanging there. He's going to keep an eye on things tonight, make sure everything's okay. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with my neighbor at an undisclosed location in the mountains of West Virginia. You guys have a great weekend, guys. Just a little addendum video here, guys, to give you some perspective on the size of that mast that we put up. Backed off looking at it from the road. I think we're up about 40 feet with it. Uh, got two sets of guy wires, probably should have used four, but we'll come back and take that down tomorrow. This is just a temporary setup. And tomorrow we're going to use that as a vertical antenna with that isolator at the bottom. Have a good evening, guys.